boom hey internets uh, I got a good article that I just read I'm gonna give a big shout out to Yanning Wang I always call her the general manager if you'll see her in, in a couple of my videos she's the general manager over at Boulevard Supply um, she sent me this via text and it's, it's a really dope article uh, that was on LinkedIn so if you oof, the headline is trending now uh, retailers should brace so the name of the article is retailers should brace for painful to 2018 so uh, if you want to read the article I'll find it and I'll put a link to it in the description um, but if you just google retailers should brace for painful 2018 on LinkedIn then you'll find the article um, and let me just take a look let me just so there's no question here this is all commentary um, another like state of the address so Around the time that this is post-dating, I just, I just want to be very real with a lot of my predictions and just the state of the market, okay? Um, and so, retailers had a rough 2017, it's saying, and it looks like 2018 is not going to be much better. Uh, ratings, ratings agency Fitch expects the retail industry to in, endure up to $7 billion in defaults in the coming year. Reports Market Watch. Likely default candidates include Neiman Marcus, J. Crew, Talbots. Uh, traditional retailers continue to struggle as more consumers shift their purchases to online retail operations like Amazon. Uh, to compete, legacy players are devoting significant capital towards upgrading their tech infrastructure. Mm. Um, all the while, sales are declining. Okay, so a second ago, I was like, mm. Let me tell you why. Uh, all of the traditional brick and mortar companies and all of the companies that have a brand that's that's rooted in kind of the older way of doing things are in big trouble. Um, now they're kind of too big too, so they're not going to be able to move as quick and as nimble as even a startup. So if you're, if you're the typical person on my channel and you're bootstrapping it in your startup company, you're actually in a better position than a big company that's paying tons of people to be there and designers like me and they have tons of people on salary. They're in danger right now. Um, you know, I read another article uh, because I'm, I'm deep on what the edge is for retail buying patterns. Obviously, if people are paying me green money to consult. I better know what I'm talking about. But the reason I'm bringing this article up specifically is because it's it's co-signing everything that I've been saying. The, the buying patterns of people are completely changing, right? So I'm in a high school class all the time, right? And in high school, if you ask a kid, like when I was in the high school in the, in the early and mid 90s, we would be going to the mall. So whose brother or sister or mom is going to take us to the mall, whose brother, sister, or mom, or dad, or older brother is gonna pick us up from the mall. That's what we lived to do on the weekends. We would shop, but not really, because we didn't have money. So it'd be kind of like window shopping, and you see someone at the high school there, or maybe we're meeting up with girls, or maybe we do that for a while, eat at the food court, and then we watch a movie. That's the weekend. Kids aren't doing that now. They can do all the shopping that they need to do on their phone. And if they want to connect with their friends, they could literally FaceTime them. Something we never had in the 90s. If you're in the 90s and you, you grew up to 90s hip hop, whoop, whoop. I'm giving y'all a shout, okay? Um, and yes, I am that old. Um, but what we're seeing now with, with the trend is that, um, I mean, everybody. Everybody is, is shopping online. And as one of the startup brands on my, on my channel, know that that's who you're talking to. Right, you're talking to the world. You know, if 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 you're launching from Long Beach, you're not just talking to to people in Long Beach. You could sell to the people in Long Beach, person to person, if you want. But your online presence, your online Shopify or website, they need that needs to be able to have international shipping because the entire world is able to view it. Um, bigger companies are in trouble, and shopping malls are actually in trouble too. So if you if you Google or look up any kind of article on the on the the things, the numbers of people that are going to shopping malls and that pattern, it's also declining. Okay, so there's a piece in here to think about for flagship shops, you know, like destination shopping. If there's something there for that person, that audience, or that person traveling, destination shopping is an idea. 
okay? Um, also, people aren't as loyal to brands. This is a whole nother video. I'm sure I'll do a whole nother video on this. But people aren't as loyal to, to brands. If you ask um, anybody that's in their late teens to like early 20s right now, they're putting, they're curating their outfit together because you can, because you can shop around the world and take pieces from all kinds of different places. I feel like the mentality is why would I wear one brand? I don't need to. So a lot of these kids will have a Supreme hat, they'll have a pair of pants from Embellish, and they'll have a shirt from H&M, and maybe another accessory piece from, from Forever 21. It's all a hodgepodge of different stuff. So it's definitely individual and piece-based buying. Right, they're just buying pieces. Now there's still people that obsess over brands, not nearly as much that used to exist from the early 90s to the early 2000s. Those guys are gone. I mean, well, those guys are like me and they have kids now and a, a whole family and everything, so they're not that they're not they're not in the buying demo that that the traditional like ready to wear men's or women's line is kind of targeting, right? If if you're getting into kind of dad mode, that sort of thing. So just something uh, to kind of think about. Um, so, brass tacks for a lot of my guys know that. It's, so the big chains getting shut down. That's not going to affect you as much. But what can you take from it is it gives you the advantage. And so know that that money is also shifting, right? Just how television is dead. The new television is YouTube. Okay. Think about how you consume. Uh, new programming like Netflix right there's there's no commercials on Netflix you just pay net Netflix to use it uh, YouTube there's commercials here but you can do an hour-long YouTube session going from me to watching a video of cats to uh, I don't know whatever whatever you watch on your YouTube session okay and so just like uh, television is done and dead that advertising money has to go somewhere Okay, so everybody that was spending their money in the malls, that money has to go somewhere and circulate somewhere. Okay, so it can be in your pocket. Um, this is this is one point that I'm kind of saying. Now you have to be very savvy about how you craft that, you know, and, and almost like I'm thinking of funnels, like how you funnel that in and get that money into you because everything is going to be up for grabs. But, uh, okay, this is as Gary Vaynerchuk as I get, but uh, I just think, the demise of malls is going to continue. I think malls are going to shut down. Not completely, but it's just going to be very different than what it was. I think they need them, need to make them more exciting. Uh, technology is definitely going to be part, play a part in where big groups of people uh, come to congregate and maybe shop. I also think uh, for brands that can pull it off, flagship is going to be um, a big key to your future in retail and more of the old school way where people touch and feel the fabric. Obviously, digital is the way to go for everybody. Everybody as a very complete basis needs to have an online e-commerce presence for sure. Okay. That's it. That's my rant. Um, so if you had anything, there's a lot of things there. If you had anything that kind of came to your mind or comments. Drop your comments below. We could all talk about it. I love it when you guys answer each other's questions and talk about it because it's all very civil and I love that. I got love for every single one of you that are watching. So drop your comments and your questions below and I'll answer those to give value to the community. You really should be following me on, on Instagram. It's at John Phenom. Okay, let's like this video, everyone. Let's like it. Like the video. Oh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.